All right, so dilating lines. So before we get started on that, here are three things that you need to know about dilating lines. You feel me? You feel a player? So first thing you need to know is when dilating a line, you only multiply the y-intercept by the scale factor, the slope remains the same. So that's important. Slope stays the same and you only multiply the y-intercept. All right, number two, make sure that before you do anything that you are in y equals mx plus b form. And then number three, make sure that you understand that dilated lines are always parallel by virtue of the fact that they have the same slope. Okay, so here's our first example. It says the line y equals one over two x minus one is given below. A dilation centered at the origin with a scale factor of three is performed. Determine the equation of the new line. So here's our line, one over two x minus one. You could see it, it does indeed have a slope of one over two, goes up one over two, up one over two. So we see that and it's got a y-intercept of negative one. So they're performing a dilation it says centered at the origin with a scale factor of three. Now, remember what I said earlier? We're only going to multiply the y-intercept. So what will be our new line? Well, it's, I'm gonna call it y2. It's gonna have the same slope. Remember, the slope stays the same. But I'm going to multiply the y-intercept by three. And so multiplying negative one by three, I get negative three. So this is my final answer. It's the equation of the new line. And if you were to graph it, it would look like that. And then you could see that it is parallel to the original line. Dilated lines are parallel to each other because they have the same slope. Okay, example two, y equals 5x plus 2 was dilated to create y equals 5x plus 8. Determine the scale factor. They, they want to know what did, what did they multiply by to go from this line to this line, right? To go from 5x plus 2 to 5x plus 8. So we know we have to look at the y-intercepts. So to do that, I'm going to call the scale factor k. So to get k, the scale factor, we're just going to do eight divided by two, and we get four. So that means the scale factor is four. Two times four is eight. So they multiplied by four to get the new line, y equals five x plus eight. So to, to get the scale factor, let's, let's write a formula. Let's say k equals the new y-intercept divided by the old y-intercept. All right, last example. The line 3y equals negative 2x plus 8 is transformed by a dilation centered at the origin. Which linear equation could be its image? All right, so let's recall. We know that lines that are dilated, or when the line is dilated, we know that the slope is going to remain the same. So we know from that, that the answer cannot be either choice three or choice four. Because for choice three, we're gonna get a slope of negative three over two. And for this one, we're gonna get a slope of three over two. So we know it can't be these two. Now, what's the slope of the original line? Well, we should put that in y equals form. Probably I should have done that first so that you could see. So we got y, 3y equals negative 2x plus 8. We're going to put it in y equals form, so we have to divide everything by 3. And we get y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 8 thirds. So the slope of, of this line is negative 2 thirds. So you could see why I said 3 and 4 ca cannot be the answer because it doesn't have the same slope. Well, by that same reasoning, that means that choice two cannot be the answer 
because if we put choice two in y equals form, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and extend the page and I'm gonna do that here. So choice two, if we put it in y equals form, moving the two x to the other side, we get negative three y equals negative two x plus five, and then we're gonna divide both sides by negative three. This cancels. We're gonna get y equals two thirds because negative over negative is a positive, x plus 5 thirds. So you could see this, the slope here is positive 2 thirds. So it, it, cannot, it cannot be choice 2. So by process of elimination, the answer is choice 1. But hey, if you want to see for yourself that it is indeed choice 1, just in case, because you like to second guess yourself and you like to second guess me, uh, put it in y equals form. So we got, let's move the 2x to the other side. We're going to get 3y equals negative 2x plus 5. And we're going to divide both sides by 3. And we will get y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5 thirds. And you could see that it is the same as the slope of the given line. So that, that means the answer is choice one. All right, so to summarize this question, um, we were asked which could be the, the image after a dilation is performed on the line 3y equals negative 2x plus 8. So what we're doing is we're, we're applying the concept that dilated lines are parallel they have the same slope so all we had to do is look for a line here that has the same slope as negative two-thirds and that was choice one all right that's it for tonight hope this helps peace